welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then I am so glad that you've joined us but if you aren't new here maybe you've noticed that I have a slightly different hair color maybe if I get a little bit closer you can tell I just dyed that's why my roots are <laughs> very different colored but I will definitely insert clips later in this video to show you what it looks like in different lightings other than my softbox light. I used the, like the title says, the Ion Color Brilliance and these are the two types that I used. And my goal was to get kind of a burgundy brown, well that's what the one color is called. Uh, really wanted to put red into my hair make it um, just kind of richer, more of a fun color, but not too crazy because I did just get a new job and that's in a corporate office, so I can't really be having crazy hair. But if you are familiar with my channel, maybe you've seen in past videos how I've talked about that I am very much a person that changes my hairstyle all the time. I change my color of my hair, the length of my hair, get bangs, all this different stuff because uh, my hair grows very quickly. I pretty much have realized that there's not a lot that I can do to damage my hair. It's very resilient and I just like to switch it up. I get very bored. So I have been multiple colors, blue, red, purple, blonde, brown, black. Uh, I've had bangs. I've been short. I've been super, super long all the way to my butt. Many different things, but yep, this is what I wanted for right now. So rather than spend tons of money going to the salon, I decided that I'd be a lazy girl and go get it from Sally's. So that's what I did and let me just put this out there right now that I don't want any of this information to be taken as a professional's point of view. This is very much just as a common user of the product. I am just a person who went to buy it from Sally Beauties and put it on my hair, which is why this is not a tutorial. I don't want you to follow my directions in putting it on your hair because I'm not a professional. I'm not here to tell you how to dye your hair. I just want to tell you about the product, how it works, price, color, everything like that, um, how I got on with it, how it might be able to work for you, stuff like that. Because I have definitely dyed my hair in the past. I have gotten it done at salons, but I've also used box dyes. I've used professional dyes ranging from Ion to other brands. So I'm pretty comfortable talking about it, but in no way take this as a professional speaking to you about this subject matter. So now that we have that out of the way, let's just get into the video. I have some good clips of me making a big mess while I'm dyeing my hair. So let's just get right into that. <laughs> The two colors I'm going to be talking about in this video are the Ion Semi-Permanent Burgundy Brown and this is just their normal intensive shine range and the box looks like this. And then I don't have the box for this one because it ripped but the other color and by the way, sorry, I got two boxes of this because usually I found with my hair that it takes around two boxes to dye the entire thing, maybe two and a half. So I usually use a, a good amount of hair dye for my hair. I have pretty thick hair. So that's definitely something to consider when you're buying hair dye for yourself. Just because it's in a box doesn't mean it's going to cover your hair. You have to plan for as much hair as you have. So if you have thicker hair, get more than one box. If you have really, really thick long hair, I would even buy three boxes, maybe four. So, I mean, this guy right here is $5.59. So the two of it together was $11.18 without tax. Something to consider. 
Um, Alright, now the other color that I used is from the Ion Brights collection, their gemstone, and it's in the shade Garnet, and I have this left over because I didn't use, as you can see, all of it. It was a really, really bright red color, and I'll try to find a picture of the box and insert it right here so you can just see how bright it was. And I got this mostly because I didn't want it to be so dark as this box and swatch looked like. I wanted to add a little bit more red, so I bought the Brights Garnet color to kind of make my own shade and add a little bit of the red. I used two of the Burgundy Browns and probably about half a tube of the Garnet. And the Garnet came to $5.79, so all together without tax, it cost me $16.97 to buy all the hair dye that I needed for my hair. And that is not including a bowl that you need to put it in. You can always use Tupperware or anything that you have lying around, but you definitely need a bowl. You need gloves because otherwise you'll end up a stained mess on your hands. You definitely don't want that. And I would recommend definitely getting a brush. Um, they have the brushes that have the long tips at the end to help you separate your hair and just get it really into your scalp. So that's what I used and all of those for each piece usually range around two to three dollars. So it's not the most expensive thing in the world and when you compare it to getting your hair done at the salon, it's still way, way, way cheaper. But yeah, it's definitely different than when you buy box dye and it's all already in there for you. So just make sure that if you do purchase the professional route, you know that you have to buy those things separately. Like I said, I am familiar with dyeing my hair, so I already had a bowl, I already had the brush, and I already had a big box of gloves to use. So I didn't really have to worry about any of that, just bought the dye and I was ready to go. If you are one to want to dye your hair in the future, just maybe do that. And I'm going to insert some clips here for me just filling up the bowl. This is one tube of the semi-permanent cream hair color. So as you can see, it's a decent amount. I feel like their sizing has gotten a little bit bigger because I know I always need it a little over two. And this looks like more than it usually is. It smells pretty good. So that is always a good thing. I put about half the tube of the Color Brights Garnet in there, and this is what it's looking like now. That smells like raspberries. It smells really good. Now I went ahead and put the whole other semi-permanent burgundy brown in, and it might be too much, but I would definitely rather have too much than too little. I have ran out of hair dye before and that is pretty much the worst thing that you could possibly do. So I have all my color in here, it looks very crazy. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix it up with my brush and I will show you what it looks like once we are kind of all mixed. Okay, we're mixed and it ended up being this kind of purpley brown color. It's kind of hard to see in here, it looks a little bit like fudge. <laughs> Probably at the very end, I had a little bit less than a quarter of a tube left. And that's just because I was really just sopping it onto my head to saturate the hair. And the directions range between the two bottles, but because the majority that I had was the burgundy brown, I followed the bottle on here the most. And this said to leave it on for 10 to 25 minutes, depending on the color that you wanted. So I left it on for 20 minutes. 
and then it said to just rinse it out and not wash it with shampoo so that is what I did and for these boxes in particular the basic color brilliance ion boxes their directions are actually inside the box not as a separate piece of paper and for the brights it's just a normal piece of paper like you would get for any type of directions so that's why I only have like one of the boxes left because I had to mangle the other one and open it all up to read the directions uh, it's really nice because it just squirts out really easily there's no bad smells or anything it leaves your hair very shiny very soft and it was super easy to detangle it some hair dyes can leave your hair very uh, knotty and kind of um, dry and this was not the case with any times I've used ion it's very moisturized and it's just very easy to comb out in the shower if you're trying to get any of the clumps out or anything like that if you have like a clump of hair dye but I will definitely say that when I went into the shower and I was rinsing it out I turned around and it was just like a scene from an Alfred Hitchcock movie there was red everywhere and it was very terrifying I've never had any issues from the Ion brands staining anything and that includes my porcelain sink I pour the leftover dye in the sink and kind of wash it around and that comes right off my white sink and also my granite countertops if I spill anything on it I kind of just rub it with hydrogen peroxide and it comes right off and also my shower it was covered in red hair dye water everything like that and I just grabbed my shower head and kind of went like this all over the place and it came right off went right down the shower drain and took another shower today and none of it was left over at all the shower is completely dry none of it had dried onto the shower so it's going to look absolutely terrifying when you turn around and see your shower but don't worry it's not going to stain your shower especially with these really bright colors I've dyed my hair bright blue with this before and didn't have an issue so the only issues that I've had is definitely dyeing on towels and things like that but as with any hair dye you have to worry about transfer so just make sure that you're wearing a shirt or a towel using a towel something like that you don't care about because it is going to stain that so I always make sure that I use the same products or items that I dye my hair with every single time because they're already stained but I and I know that it sounds like I'm giving some review because I have some affiliation with this brand but I used a couple of different brands in the past especially I've noticed when I dyed my hair blue and I noticed the most with Ion not only do they have the largest color selection I think but they, they do the most for your hair my hair felt the nicest from them and they smelled the best and uh, they just they have so many products that go along with it so I could use the hair dye and then I would be able to use their hair styling cream or their hairspray and I would feel like they all went together and there wasn't any kind of combating chemicals or anything like that because they were all meant to go together so it's a very popular brand it's really easy to find at Sally's and I just really have been super happy with how every hair dye that I've done at home with the Ion brand whether it's their just normal semi-permanent color I've used their permanent colors I don't think I've used their demi permanents but just between those two uh, it turned out great I've never had any issues some other colors that I've used some other brands have ended up being kind of splotchy have not been as moisturizing um, some have had a little bit stronger of an odor I've noticed that the Ion Brights collection in general have a fruity scent to all of them so like I said this one smelled like raspberries and I know that the blue smelled like blueberries so I don't know if that's just something that they do but it's kind of nice to have a good smell while you're putting it on your hair like 
my hair still smells really good because obviously I haven't washed it. I kind of want the dye to get a chance to really seep into my hair follicles and things. So I haven't done anything, haven't washed it since yesterday when I put it in, but this is how it's looking. I think it looks 10 times better than it did with the dark root and the lighter bottom and growth and everything like that. But that is my little mini rant on the Ion hair dyes and I hope you guys think this video was helpful and I hope that you have learned a little bit about hair dyes and some tips and tricks that you might be able to use. I'm sorry that it's not a tutorial. I do not want to show you the wrong way to do things because as I will insert here, definitely a good thing that I did not do a tutorial on how to dye your hair because I feel like I just did every single thing that you're not supposed to do. Look at me. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at me. I ended up a mess. <laughs> I was covered, but that's another good thing with this. It's very easy to get off. I just was rubbing hydrogen peroxide everywhere, and as you can see, I don't have any stains. No stains. So it comes right off your skin. Don't have to worry about it. And it was very easy to use. So I would say that if you are going light, to definitely consult somebody first before you go light. But if you want to try a good hair dye from the professional range of things, I would definitely give Ion a chance. I have always had success with it, and I hope you guys like this video. I will see you next time. Love you!